All right, well, this is Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and web flow one video at a time. And today, we are going to talk about components, what they are, and how do we create them. So what are components? Well, components are just basically reusable blocks. They are made up of elements and child elements that have been put together in a particular way, and we can turn those into a component, and then we can reuse those components throughout our website. Now, why is this powerful? Well, it's powerful because components allow you to edit that one element and its child elements in one place, and this allows for you to update that component throughout your entire website. And so imagine that you have some blog cards and you want to change some things on those blog cards. Well, if you had a blog card on the home page and then some more blog cards on another page, well, you might have to go to each and every single page in order to change those cards. When you create a component and you reuse that component throughout your website, all you have to do is go to one block and make the changes that you want, and those changes will update across the entire website. So l let's jump into the computer, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, well, here we are in the computer, and this is my website, and this is just a demo page that I have for these YouTube videos. And so I want to show you that I've already created here two components, and, and uh, well, actually one component, and I've, I've duplicated it. And so you can notice that this component is different from this component right here. Now, one of the powerful things that I talked about in the intro is that you can actually move these you know, properties around. And so say, for whatever reason, you wanted the image below the category, um, and you wanted the, the title on top. Maybe you're thinking about some weird, you know, card that you want to create. And now you notice that I, I changed it on this component right here on the left, but it updated also on the right component. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is that this component looks different than this component over here. And so that is one of the powerful things of components. And so let me just, you know, back out of this right here. All right, so how do we can create a component? Well, here is a card that I have. So I've selected the card item. And you notice over here on the right side of the screen, it says create component. And you can go here to the settings part, or you can click on the symbol right here, which is a component symbol, and then click create new component. And that will create a new component for you. So let's go ahead and create this component. Now, when we click Create Component, you're going to notice that it asks us to name this component. Now, I've already created a Cards component, so I'm just going to say Cards 2. All right. So we have our second Cards component. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice immediately on the right side is we've got some differences here. This has changed, and it's calling itself back to an instance. And now in this, when we've clicked inside, we are actually editing the main component. And so what, what you have to do to begin with is go through and really set up all of the different properties. And so the first property that you know we, we want to set up, say, is this image because we want to be able to change the image. So we click on the image and you notice that there is this kind of blue circular thing with a white dot in it and then you hover over it and it turns into a plus sign. And so we want to make sure that we notice where these blue dots are and we want to click on those blue dots in order to turn into. Now, when it does that, if you notice here, it says create and connect a new property. And that's what we want to do. We want to create and we want to connect new properties. So this is going to come up. And one of the things that I would suggest is to really make sure that you name these properties so that you will know what they mean when you go back to them. And so this is going to be the image property. So I'm just going to simply name it image to keep it nice and neat. Now, this property right here is going to be our categories property. So I'm going to name that categories. 
this category right here. And you notice all I'm doing is clicking on the different elements that I want to create properties for. And the reason we're doing that is because those properties are going to allow us to change those particular elements. <clears throat> so here's a text property. So I'm going to call this one here heading. This is going to be create and connect new property. We're going to call this description. The next one is going to be author. Then we're going to put in the date. So all we're simply doing is going through and connecting each one of these properties. This one would be the read time. It does take a little bit of time to set up on the front end, but if I can type time, it is very much worth it. And so we'll also do the author image as well. All right, so we have set up and we have created all of the different properties that we want to create for this particular card. So we can click out of this. Now, when we click out of this, you're going to notice that there's a different symbol here and it says cards two. This is card one. This is the same card as well, but here's card number two. All right, so say we want to change something on this particular card. Well, we just click on the actual component right here. And you notice that we're gonna have some different properties that show up here on the right side bar. And within these component properties, these are the ones that we just created. And what we can actually do is we can begin to change the text here. Now, it wouldn't be so powerful for this particular card, but say I took this card and I put it over here in this slide. So let me go ahead and just duplicate this slide so I have it. And we're going to just recreate that particular slide. So we'll actually, let me duplicate this down here. Now, there are different ways that you can duplicate things. What I just did is I held the Option key, okay? And then I just drug this down in there. And that's actually going to create a duplicate. Uh, the other thing, if you don't have this card like readily available for you to do that, is you can click on this slide right here. You can go up here to the actual components and you can just click on cards too. And then it's going to bring up all of these properties right here that you can change. So let me X out of that. The next thing I'm going to do is within this, I don't, I don't really want this item here. It's going to mess this up. Okay. <clears throat> I have a copy of it right here. So all I have to do is click on cards two, and then over here, I have these different component properties. I don't want to click into edit because that's going to edit the main component. Instead, I want to begin to replace these items just to copy this over here. So let's replace that. Let's go down and find this particular image or just really any image will work. We'll put this guy in there. Then we just click over here and say, we want this one here to be product. All right, we're just typing it over here. We want our text to be PM, mental models. Then we click into this one here, mental models are simple. Complex processes or relationships. All right, then we're going to grab us a different author. So we'll grab this lady right here. I'm just going to change her. We'll just change her first name to Jen. We'll change the date. And you can change this date to whatever you want, 14. And we can change our read time right here to, say, seven minutes. All right, so essentially what we have done is we have taken this which is our cards too. We have created a copy of that and we have gone in using the component properties and changed each one of these properties that we initially 
setup. Now, this is for blog posts, as you notice the title here. So probably not the best use case. What you want to then do is take this component that we've made and drop that into a CMS collection. Now, if you're interested in seeing how to do that, I have created another video that really talks about Webflow's latest capabilities that they have released where they allow you to drop these cards inside of a CMS collection and be able to update them just like we have been able to update here, but utilizing the CMS. So we're not having to go in and retype each time what we want, you know, the category to be and the title to be and the description to be. Right now, if you're interested in watching that video, you can click up here or up here. I don't know where it comes on the screen, but I will put a link to that as well as I'll put a link to that in the description at the end of this particular video. All right, well, that was components. Hopefully you found some value out of this video. And if you did, would you smash that like button for me? And if you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out content each and every single week, helping you to build faster in Webflow and design better. I hope to see you on the next video.